Hello, hello. Hello, Halo. Hello, Halo. I heard that's a good game. Or is that still cool? I don't know. Asking for a friend. Um. I, might just, I closed my window. Now it's open. And thank you guys for following me. I am working on a custom painted helmet right now, and it wasn't going to go live with this. But I changed my mind and decided to go live. I was trying to knock this out real fast, but hey, it's for horses, and that's fine. Uh, where is my cell phone? Up here. And I'm gonna paint this helmet real fast. Real fast. I don't know how fast, but yeah. I'm trying to knock it out real fast. And uh, thanks for staying with me and checking in my channel and all that good stuff. And I usually don't go live this much, but I'm actually going live a lot now. So that's something cool, something different, you know, some positive. All right. So I want to go live. That's what I want to do. I want to make sure I get this set right. Turn it down. And that's good to go. That looks good. And hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you're just joining me right now, I'm painting a custom motorcycle helmet. And um, let me see if this window is open. Oh yeah, it is, cool. Hopefully this isn't laggy. Last time was super laggy. And this time my goal is not to be laggy. So no lags, no bueno, no good. So I'm doing a custom helmet. I wasn't gonna go live. Uh, but, you know, I just want to turn the camera on for a minute. I'm like, hey, might as well. So my place is kind of a mess. Uh, excuse me with that. But hey, it's all right. Let me turn up this music so I can get into it. Got to do that. Puts me in the, the mood. Okay, no, I don't like that track. Where's, my, where's a cooler track? Oh, yeah, way cooler. I don't know what that was. Ba, ba, ba. I gotta be, I'm super, I gotta have everything right before I can draw and paint. I don't know, I'm weird like that. I don't know if anybody else has like the kind of tendencies where you have to like do certain stuff, you know, before you can do something. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Hey Jesse, would you say that's cool? Hey, thanks. Thanks for checking me out. And if you're just joining me, I'm doing a custom paint job on a motorcycle helmet. I'm doing some. This is actually to match the gas tank, and I don't know if anybody anybody saw it earlier, any of you guys did get a chance to check it out, but I had a gas tank, uh, a motorcycle tank actually, from a Harley Davidson, that I'm doing an art show tomorrow, so if anybody, any of my friends, any of you guys are in the area, come check it out, it's going to be at um, the South Shore Art Center for Performing Arts, and uh, I have, I'll have this my stuff featured there somewhere. It's a collective show with a bunch of artists. So, something cool to check out. Free admission and something to do Sunday, man, if you're not doing anything. I think it's like from one to three. So, check it out, appreciate some art, and get out there and uh, boogie. I just said boogie, holy crap. Hey, what's going on, all you guys? Jeremy, hi, yeah, I can pronounce that name. Hey, John. Jane, Richard, Eric, and Crystal. Hey, hey guys, thanks for joining me, appreciate it. And uh, if you're stopping in, uh, please share my stream and uh, like, do all the good stuff. That helps me get my art out there, and I really appreciate it too. So, another tip from the iPad. I always work off of the uh, reference photo if I'm doing some realistic stuff. And that's a good tip uh, to use an iPad because you can pinch zoom it. Which I love to do that so I can zoom in on something and see the detail really well. Turn the pressure up. I like the noise of the pressure, you can hear it. Pinch them out. So yeah, I'm just doing a skull helmet to match the, and I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm like, hey, might as well go all out 
And that's what I like to do. I like to do like the most, right? I'm kind of like a show off in that way. Um, but it's good though, because it keeps me working and grinding and stuff. So it's kind of like an overachiever in school, I guess. I was, in, I was about super nerd, so I wasn't cool at all. I was not. I was like the kid, like, hey, you can draw. Like, all right. Hey, man, get back. That guy can draw. <laughs> okay, no, that doesn't sound too cool. So doing the helmet, fleshing it out, and doing all this detail in there, and really doing a lot of... Uh, so if you see how I... I don't know how much you can see on here, actually. Let me pull my screen up so I see what you guys are seeing. And, um... Blah, 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 where's it at? So, okay, I see what you guys are seeing now. Maybe I can get a better uh, angle on that. So, if you can see, I'm doing a lot of the texture inside here. Actually, right, right there. Yeah, so we're doing a lot of texture in here. better kind of tilt it down that's cool I like to really work right on top of it so I can see everything but I'm kind of working at a weird angle now so you guys can see it and uh, check out what I'm working on so but if you know it's nice working at different angles and moving around your art because it gives you a different perspective and I don't and I think that's kind of good because it makes your art different I think if you start getting into a routine of something you have habits that are good but then with too much of the same routine kind of makes you you know have things a lot similar and I don't know if doing that you can't really progress your style or anything and I'm always making stuff different and good, bad, whatever. You know what it starts. Hey guys, thanks for joining me, Ethan, Katie, Greg. Uh, if you're just checking me out, uh, I'm working on a uh, custom helmet to go along with a motorcycle helmet. I mean, motorcycle tank I did yesterday from a Harley. And I'm having this featured in the Munster Art Show. Uh, I think they're doing like an urban kind of tattoo, uh, raw kind of night Sunday. So tomorrow, actually not night, but stay. Tomorrow from 1 to 3, check it out if you're around. It's a cool time. Uh, I get to, I'll be there for a little bit, so you can come chill with me or uh, see, and see some of the work there, which a lot of great artists are having some of their work there too. So check them out as well. Just appreciate art, man. And I don't know if they're selling it. Maybe buy some stuff too. Who knows? So adding all this detail, and you really can't, is that glare sucks. And it's, hard, it's hard because without the light on it, I can't see anything. I'm like blind, but then you're blind online. Like if I'm standing right there, there's like, perfect, right? All right, so now I'm gonna add white again. And uh, I don't know if, yeah, you know what? This is a really pure bright white, and that's fine. We'll, we'll do it like that. I think this will stand out more. Let me reduce this. I'm gonna add a, hey sick, awesome. Hey, thanks Billy Bones, man. Thanks for watching me and uh, check out my stream. We watch it and I know a lot of people can't stay in long because you guys are busy and it's Saturday. So anybody here, I appreciate you guys watching. You know, that means a lot to me. And also helping share and like and all that stuff helps me a lot get my channel out there. I really appreciate that as well. And it's hard for me just to get in it, but when I do start getting the paint flowing right, like I'll knock it all out really fast. But I'm super meticulous, uh, and, and for a good reason though. Because if you are meticulous, it's gonna come out not as good. That's just how it goes. So, and I told myself it was gonna take a long to do this, but don't look at me. Look at me.
Gotta throw that white in there. Oh, that came out a lot. And I don't... I need a lid. Don't want to lose that detail. Shake it up. Turn on the PSI. It's almost there. I think I need to reduce it a little more. That's what it is. And then it can shoot out really nice. So I just put like a squirt of reducer in there. And then I mix it up. Right now I'm just using like a ghetto toothpick. Toothpick. Q-tip. Um, but it works for me. Hey guys, hey Thomas, so yeah, that's very aw awesome looking. Thank you. Hey Amanda, Monica, Thomas, Paul. Hey, what's going on, Paul, man? Oh, I was just thinking about you, man. Um, so Paul, if you're still watching, our uh, shoot is going to be published in for the July issue. So I just got the confirmation on that. And actually, it's going to be the Avengers one, too. So it's like a double feature. It's super dope. Uh Super honored to always be part of PKG uh, Custom Pinstripe and uh, Automotive Paint from uh, Pinstripe and Graphic Magazine. They have some dope work, they have some dope artists, um, and always glad to, among, to be among the, the top artists in my industry. Um, that's a huge honor. And it is because these guys are amazing too. Um, yeah. So throwing the skull. I don't know. What do you guys like to be painted? Any of you guys ride bikes or uh, you know have tanks or Harleys? Like what kind of stuff you think would be cool? I'm kind of just making some stuff up on the fly. Adding um, some more detail in here. And the main skull. So white is a value, the brightest value, the brightest color, it's actually not a color, it's the absence of color, white and black are. Um, but you can have, well, what that means, it's really important, because white is defined as your highlights, or using white to make a uh, color lighter, and uh, lighter on the value scale, to bring whatever is in the foreground closer. So white, whatever part is closest to you, that's what it signifies. So see like here, the ridges on his, uh, I always say his, it's always a man's skull. You know what ladies, I'm gonna do like a female skull and make that like super cool, I don't know. I don't know if that's cool. But um, I guess it has fangs or something like that, I think that's the man. Um, but yeah, so adding this here and like a little texture in here, these little lines. Maybe I can move this camera. Let's see what happens. Is that better? Better now, or better now? I think it's better. Okay, adding some more texture on here.
And it's okay if the texture's faded. It's fine. A lot of artists ask me, how do you know where to put stuff at? And that's a big question I get a lot. Like, how do you know where to put the texture at that's just right? And the answer is, you don't really. No one really knows. I mean, when I'm really concentrating, I'm really in it, the best answer I would say is what feels and looks good compositionally, what balances. So, like, I'll add some more stuff over here. And since it's a line going up, I'll add the up line. And since these are lines, it's showing direction, I'll add it. So that's, but, I don't know. I just play around and whatever feels and looks good. So don't overthink it. Paul Tobler, I just put you in a classic car app I um, belong to tonight, so we'll see what happens. Oh, dope, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, so you got all the photos, too. Use those or whatever you want. If you want any more, Paul, uh, you need any more images or something, let me know. Okay, so that's some cool detail right here. I, I think that's good. Let me zoom out here and look at the skull, really. So see the, the, the light? Crap. That's all sucks. That's a, I don't know what that is. So it's lighter up here. And let's mimic this. Really looking at the value. I'm really painting that in. And you'll see in a minute why that's important. And when I airbrush freehand, it's really sketch-like. And this is my like technique. A lot of guys have their lettering and their you know fonts. Mine is uh, it's it, it's the kind of like the drawing, the freehand technique. That's just how I call it. I was literally sketching a design with an airbrush, and then from a sketch airbrush turned into a full painting. And I think that's cool. I think that's fun, and that's how I like to work. And blah, blah, blah. So next, I want to use a flamed stencil. It's like a curved stencil. Anybody who needs some, hit me up, man, too. I'll make some for you and sell them to you, and they help out a lot. Sick, awesome. Love your choice of colors. I just bought Transparent Sun Gold because I saw you use it, and it's very cool. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. And I'm going to lose this. Okay, that just happened. That happened. All right. Back to the drawing board. Flipping this around. Drop my easel. So if you watch my streams, uh, I don't think I had a stream yet where I don't drop something. That's just a thing. I always drop something. Diego Gonzalez. What? How did I just laugh at my own thing? Oops, see? I did drop it. Okay, no more talking, no more playing around. Well, I'll talk a little bit, so. Lots of talking. So I'm adding the flames here. This is gonna lay the foundation for the candy colors. That's really important. Make sure I wipe down my template too before that thing gets too wet and it starts leaving marks everywhere. Move this, hopefully I don't drop it. I'll try to get the side right here where I'm at it. Okay, 
I'm not sure I like those flames right there. That these look too similar. Uh, but I'm gonna fix them. Okay, that's cool. So hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you're just checking me out, I'm doing a custom motorcycle helmet. I'm airbrushing it in uh, white right now as a foundation. You'll see it, I'm almost done with all this white. And then it'll get super fun. That's cool, that's enough. Enough. And you guys ever go to the dunes where they had that little thing when you're in like, a high, like you're like in elementary or middle school where you etch something and you don't see it? And then you etch it over, it has like a little relief with a crayon, and then like a little symbol pops up. I always thought that was so cool. That's how this is painting. Painting this is. It's like, you make all this work and all this detail underneath, and then you go over it, and then when you put a transparent color on it, it all comes to life again. And that's really how I see this working. That's cool. I want to add some mech and tech in here, and that was like, oh, that's not, it's, don't want that. I want this one. <clears throat> this is a cool one. Hey, Eddie, Monica, oh, hey, what's going on, man, Eddie? Hey, very cool, thank you. Adding some tech here, some crazy kind of futuristic stuff. And I want to kind of do like a uh, inspiration to like H.R. Geiger. I love that dude's work. It's so dark, but like it's it's. I love it. It's creepy. I don't know how to say it. It also has some like kind of sexual undertone to his work. And it's dark and creepy. And that's kind of similar to my body art and stuff. So I think that's some kind of psychoanalysis of my own self. Weird. Oh man, just psychoanalyze myself on Facebook Live. Holy crap. Anyways, his work is really cool. If you get a chance to check it out, he's a guy that did uh, Aliens and um, Predator and all that stuff that everyone really loves. And it's based off of, I mean, the story's not his, but the artwork it was based off of Geiger and that's why it's so popular because everyone loves the creatures from there color if I can but I can't it's like a lot of symbols and stuff kind of ancient but tech looking and that's kind of what's coming alive and I'm not really realizing as I go but it's like coming alive like a story in in, in art and I think art that has a story is some of the best art. <laughs> oh 
Oh man, okay, no, a tequila yellow. Peter Cologne, uh, is it Cologne? Awesome, man. Thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate it, man. Adding yellow, this tequila yellow. This is actually a candy color yellow. Which I love, it's a really transparent color. Bam, that glare is killing, killing me. All right. What's going on, Hector? What's going on, Jose? Daisy? Hey, babe. Abraham? All you guys. Thanks for joining me and appreciate you watching me. And what I'm doing is a custom motorcycle helmet. And I wasn't going to stream this. I was going to knock it out real fast. But what the heck? I'm going to stream it. Look at what I'm doing. I ended up doing it anyways. I always say I'm not, and I do. So that tequila yellow really brings out the color. I don't think I'll overdo it, I think I'll under do it. Cause I'll do the whole back and all that, but no, I think this is cool. I like how the flames kind of taper off in the back. I like that. And for me to do less is hard. I think the only reason I'm doing less is because I have a deadline tonight. Bam. That's done. All right. Don't spill. Don't spill. Oh, I spill all my colors. And then I want to add white here, back in the highlights. Let me find the uh, blah, 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 the wicked white. So this is a wicked opaque white. I have a wicked detail white, which I want to find. And or I can use the bone white. That's another one. Actually, here's the detail white. Shake it up really good. It's really good, really good practice to shake it. And also find a lid, because I know me. I'm going to spill it everywhere like a kid. Bad Diego, don't spill it. All right. Next. Cool, that's shooting out really well. And what I wanted to do is work on some more flames. That looks nice. I like how those are coming out. I want to really get into the flames. I can really bring them to life and really knock them out. See when I get in my groove. Get inspired. I love the way they look. I might end this stream a little bit and change the lighting. So I want you guys to see this, and this lighting here sucks. But this is how you do flames really fast, guys. Just a quick lesson is layer them, use a template, rotate the template. I really used to suck at flames until I realized, because I was trying to make flames so perfect and, and do them like everyone else. And then I'm like, hey, I'm an artist. I can do it however the hell I want to. And let's do it like I want to. So that's more liberating. And then I stopped thinking about it. I just like do stuff.
Hey guys, thanks for watching, I, uh, checking me out. I appreciate it. And if you're just watching, I am working at an automotive custom painting uh, skull helmet. And I uh, appreciate you. If you guys can share this channel, I'd love that forever. And drop a like or whatever. That helps me get my channel out there. And um, my art. And that really, really helps me. I appreciate it a lot. For real. Without people helping watching stream, then uh, you know I, I don't get my art out there and all that stuff. So every little, little bit counts. Adding these true flame effects, little whiff of white to form the flame. Rotating it as I go, find a new shape. And I had another template here with the true flame right here. Found it! I never find stuff, so wow, on the first shot. I'm sure some people click off, like, oh, Diego's looking for stuff. It's gonna take him like five minutes. I'll be back. That's how I think. I have no patience. Alright, so adding white here. Let's bring back the highlights again. This little detail here. This little fangs there. Super focused.
finishing these flames. Adding these little signs, little behind here. Adding these little wave lines. And then maybe add like another white. I think that's good. Hey guys, thanks for joining me and I appreciate it. And what I'm doing right now is painting a custom helmet with a skull and some skulls and fire and flames and all that cool stuff. I'm actually about to reset up my sh the videos. So it's, uh, the lighting is better.
That's cool. I'm gonna add a orange in here now. Grab her orange. It's actually right here, and this is a candy color. Working from the outside in, trying to really preserve the highlights and colors I got. Tinting it really well now. And then I'm gonna add a yellow and I'll go over it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna come back in a minute and finish the rest. I just wanna switch the camera light and uh, thanks for joining me and check out my stream. Appreciate it, like, share, all that good stuff. It helps me with my channel and I'll be back in a minute. And I wanna finish more of it, add some more detail and then you'll see it really like finished, all good to go. Thank you guys 